What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> <laughs> What is good everyone, Shubes here. Today we're going to be looking at something special. The Matrix ME or the Matrix ME. Albert from Matrix Lab was kind enough to send this out for me to build and review and I'll show you something crazy awesome that he sent me. Let's go. And this one as well. So the colorway I got for the board is one of the special colorways known as Blue Star as you can see from these sparkles it's like a starry night star and with a name like that and a color like that I knew I had to have a theme build and what else is better than to build a Suisse themed board cause I am a giant weeb and uh, Albert was kind enough to send me a custom badge for my own logo as well as a Suisse logo so yeah that's the good stuff right there so before we get into the build since this is a review on the board I want to shed some information on the board itself the Matrix ME will come with two different versions the standard starting at 285 and the MESE starting at 405 the main unchangeable differences between the two versions are mostly aesthetic. The SE features LED branding above the aero cluster as well as LED and accents on the left corner side. Additionally, the SE also comes standard with case and plate foam as well as a aluminum bottom plate. The normal version does not come with the LEDs or branding and this part of the aesthetic cannot be added. So if you like the look of the LEDs, the only way to get that is by going with the SC. However, the normal version does have the option to add virtually anything else the SC has, such as the foam for an additional $25, as well as aluminum bottom plate for $35 or more depending on the color. Talking about colors, the group buy will have around 28 different color options ranging from special coatings to your standard anno. This is actually wild, I don't think I've ever seen so many color options available for purchase on any board before, and knowing Matrix, both their coating and anno is widely considered within the hobby to be a top notch and from my experience as well so I don't have any worries on how this will turn out. From my knowledge I think the group buy should be happening around the end of July but uh, if you want more information on that I suggest you check out the Geek Hack thread as well as join the Matrix Lab uh, Discord server I'll have the links to both of those in the description and now let's get on with the build. So this is the beta version so this is sort of like the proto. Uh, there's gonna be some changes there's no LEDs in this version, but it will. Uh, this is basically like the SE version, so if you buy the SE, the LEDs will be included. But this is the blue star colorway. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's sort of like sparkles. The the silver part of it. Is, yeah, you can see it sparkling. So here's a better demonstration of the blue star colorway um, and the finishing. I, I I honestly don't know how they did this shit, but uh, you can see how it sparkles. Uh, it honestly looks fantastic. So when I heard that I was getting this color, I wanted to go with a Suisse theme board. <laughs> so, uh, first off, they sent me a custom badge. Custom shoes badge. Which is pretty pretty cool let's go they made me a custom Suisse badge as well so the good thing about these badges is that it's magnetic so you can just like take it out and then pop it right in there but uh this is the plate the plate looks uh, looks pretty wild it's got some a lot of meme cuts so this I think this does use the more flexible alu. It's, it's pretty flexible. We'll see how well these flex cuts actually do stuff. But uh, 
You can see all the tabs for the gaskets. Also comes with some plate plate foam. The usual thick sort of a matrix style foam. The uh, Albert said that the beta version has the silicon one, but the official one will be poron plate foam. So, yeah, just to throw that out there. Welcome to another episode of Shoops Talks without a fucking script. So for this build, I was going for a full-on Suisei themed board because Albert was nice enough to custom make a Suisei badge for me. Uh, this will unfortunately not be available during the group buy, but different badges will be. Maybe the shoes badge as well. <laughs> Shh. But uh, I went with Everglide stabs in the blue color. These are just basically Duroc V3s or V2s. <laughs> and the uh, switches I went with were SP Star Meteor Whites, which are linear full nylon switches. They are on the higher pitched end though but uh, the color matched with the case perfectly so went with those and I am a personally a big fan of Meteor Whites so you know it was not a bad choice. The unfortunate thing about this board for a lot of people is probably going to be that it's soldered only but um, that's a hurdle that you will have to take and soldering is honestly super fucking easy. Uh, it's it's really worth picking up and um, basically yeah oh yeah I forgot to say that my space bar like always is a black cherry pie so the board itself is a gasket mounted board but it is done in a way that is very different from what I've seen uh, it utilizes gaskets on the top and bottom of the plate like most other gasket boards. However, instead of it being sandwiched in between the top and bottom of the case, it's just sandwiched onto the top of the case and the little red sort of holders that mount on top to the top of the case. So it's sort of like a gasketed or gasket top mount per se. I don't know I don't know how to describe this sort of mount. So the set that we are going to go with for the build is going to be GMK Classic Blue. I think that it sort of fits Suisei's theme. Uh, I, I would have really loved to go Cat Comet but that shit is not going to deliver for months. Just like the rest of my sets. Uh. Alright I guess we can uh I'll put some artisans on here. This was a... It fits the theme a bit. This is called Starry Night. This amusing sent it to me. But we have the arrow cluster. I think it fits the theme. Spacebar is a F. So I pay took tape, put it right here. There's like a slight space right here. That's like <laughs> that's like a bit more inwards. <laughs> but I put some tape here, and then I took. It's not really. I mean, I guess it's sort of like tape mod, but I put some tape right underneath the space bar too. Alright, so this is the so one important part of making the space bar sort of not hollow. I don't know why it works, but it sort of does. But basically, you, for these two bottom screws, you don't screw it in all like super tight. You just screw it just so it's leveled to the case. just so it's level to the case like that i i don't know <laughs> scuffed mod it's not really a mod it's just like i legit spent like three hours but like here's how it sounds
Doesn't that sound much? It sounds much less hollow. So, what are my thoughts on the board? It honestly surprised me a lot. The unique gasket mounting style paired with all the cuts of the plate actually makes this a fairly flexible and soft typing experience, especially without any of the plate and case foam. It does get noticeably stiffer with the foam installed, which is not a surprise. But for the starting price of 285 or even 405 for the SD, this board is honestly one of the cheaper enthusiast grade TKLs to be coming out right next to Gion's Frog TKL. I haven't tried the Frog yet so I won't be making any direct comparisons but this does seem like another great option within that price range. So the board in my personal opinion feels great to type on and of course the quality and coding is a one as expected of Matrix, however there is one down Downside and that would be hollowness. The case itself is a real chonker weighing in I don't have a scale on me, but I it's around five pounds ish. There's no brass in here, but this is full aluminum and it's quite heavy still. And there is a lot of internal space, and without case foam, there is a fair amount of reverb, especially on the bottom mods making it quite hollow. Additionally, like I stated earlier in the video, the spacebar sounded really damn hollow as well. But that weird little modification I did with the tape and uh, screwing in the bottom two screws here a little a little less tight actually helped uh, dial down the hollowness on the spacebar a ton. Out of all of the foam configurations, I actually prefer the build with no case or plate foam. Uh, this is just personal preference, but the sort of loud echoey tone of the board without any of the foam paired with the most flexible experience out of all the possible builds just makes that specific configuration the best and most comfortable for me. 
Would I recommend this board? Short answer, yes. If you're looking for a great quality, great feeling TKL and like the sound, the standard version starting at 285 is a absolutely nutty price for a board like this. And if you want more aesthetic options and cool colors, 405 for the SE and whatnot. I still think it's still very reasonable in the grand scheme of this godforsaken hobby. This board definitely holds its own compared to many of my other high-end TKLs, and I would say that overall, it's pretty damn good. Anyways guys, thank you so much for all the continued support. We hit 40k subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, more comedy videos, more reviews, more Switch reviews, and stuff like that coming soon. And thank you to everyone on Twitch as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.